nomir viens paties ticīgs, pa, pavisam parasts ticīgs cilvēks nomir. Uh, one no, simple person of faith died and he went to heaven. But no one in heaven paying him attention, everyone running. He thinks, and he's thinking need to see where, where is everyone running. And there is one priest tank with huge gold cross. And he's thinking everything as on the land. Great priests, everyone uh, worshipping them. But no one paying attention to me. And there is a Peter. There is Peter. And he's saying, some people looking at me with such eyes. And Peter saying to that person, why are you so surprised? As you, there are billions of people. And such this priest with huge golden cross, he's only, there are only few. I am not trying to say that servants in traditional churches are bad and all wrong. I'm trying to say big, large golden cross means nothing. It might mean only appearance uh, outfit. Don't be fooled with the idea that you're doing something correctly. There should be applause and the sounds and flowers and celebration. Everyone should be so joyful. Mothers, mothers who are bringing up their children, never receiving thanks normally. But if you are doing something wrong with your child and bringing him, you will receive attention simultaneously. Please. Don't be poor. Don't be tired and weary. That there are no, um, there are, uh, no a team of uh, joyful people around you who are paying attention to you. We are disciples of Christ. We would like to do what He said to us. Isn't it so? In uh, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, it says, All authority has given been to me in heaven and earth. Go and make disciples all of the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded to you. And you know, Jesus saying, Jesus saying, I have all authority, all authority to, to um, send you. That's what I'm saying. Is it related to you? Do you understand that uh, God gave you an order? It's also related to you. Jesus wants. He would like me and you to be disciples of him. As you notice in the same verse, Verse 19, he is saying, teach, uh, sorry, it's verse 20 in English, teaching them, teaching them, it says, sometimes in traditional service, we associate it with ability to see. That is similar to school. Uh, during Soviet times, I went to school to see that. If someone told me, Vilni, what you learned here, you will use it in the future. You know, even in the medical school, no doctor told me, told me, now I will teach you what to do, then someone calls ambulance. No, no, actually, some people 
told us how to divide uh, heavy injuries from lighter ones. The ones who in a greater pain will scream, but the ones who is just uh, laying without sound is the, the ha have the, the worst injuries. Sometimes we have a feeling that we're just sitting and listening. And what we are preparing for? What? What? For a pause? For <laughs> oh, you have a worse exam. ideas than I do. And we are preparing for exam. exam. To receive a good mark. To get away from school with this certificate. Oh Lord, Jesus, she and the half years lived with, their with his disciples, he prepared disciples to go to nations, he, he taught them, say, taught them, if your Christianity is where you not learning anything, something was wrong. We have to study. Then Jesus, for three and a half years, um, taught his disciples and he said them not to go away from Jerusalem. It says in Lucas 24, in verse 49, Behold, in Latvian translation, there is no word Jerusalem, but, but in all other languages it says, Stay in Jerusalem, in city, stay until you will be dressed with power from high. We have many things to learn. There are wrong ways how to be disciples, how to present uh, good news, how to speak about the Lord Jesus. But we are trying to do things in the right way. And Jesus is saying, don't go, don't go anywhere. Stay in Jerusalem until you receive power from high, from heaven. Same words said in Acts 1, 8. It says you will receive power when you will receive power after Holy Spirit come upon you and you will be um, my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and uh, unto the uttermost part of the earth. Tas mēroks ar vienu paplašanās, ka tu esi beidz Jerozālumē, vēl paliek jūdei un tā tālāk un tā tālāk. Bet ievēro vēlreiz. Please pay attention one more time. You will receive power. Viņš runā par svēto garu, par līdzi svēto garu. Then Holy Ghost will come upon you. He's speaking about Holy Spirit in the way that He will come in some special manner, something you cannot learn by yourself. I need to learn how to... Um, how to act, how to see Holy Spirit with special respect. We cannot understand how dry, awful Christianity could be if that would not be Pentecostal. Celebration, holidays. Holy Spirit, he refreshes, he gives, um, he fulfills his missions, his mission. And he gives special ability what disciples receive during Pentecostal. 
radikālo pārmaiņu. I see this particular radical change that happened in the disciples before they received Holy Spirit and after baptizing with Holy Spirit. I hope this morning you will help me and you will follow and see this. First illustration before, before the baptized with Holy Spirit, the disciples with Jesus, showing this very, very well, is written in Luke 9, starting from verse 54, that two brothers, John and Jacob, they go to Jerusalem, Un viņš iet pat aicināk ko ceļu, un tad viņam jāiziet cauri samarīs ciemam. Tas ir apmēram trīs dienu gājums. And they have to travel for three days to Samaria. Un tad viņam vajadzēt trīs nāks pārnaks. And then they need to sleep for three nights. And one night they need to sleep in Samarīs. Samarian village. And the Samaritans knew that they're going to Jerusalem and they are rejecting to accept them, to give them a room or a hotel or whatever. They're saying, you cannot stay here, you need to continue your way or just to go away. We think that something psychological, connecting to nerves, something... And disciples saying, if you want, we will ask fire coming from heavens and burn this village to the foundation. Could you say something like that? Uh, oh no, Vilnius, what are you asking? We could take our car and go to the nearest uh, village. We don't understand these disciples. Maybe we don't understand the whole context. First of all, Jesus has been in this village. When? A few weeks, months ago. They were and they were buying food and Jesus was standing by the well of Jacob and he wanted to take some water and there was this woman and they had a conversation with this woman. She had seven husbands but none of the husbands the real one, and she said, you are Messiah, you told me everything, and this woman going to this village, and she's saying, yeah, I met Messiah, let go, have a look, scriptures promised him, here he, there he is, and all villagers come to this well and speak with, to him, and asking him, stay with us. And he's staying there for two days. And what Jesus is doing for two days? If we would stay there for two days, we would eat breakfast, lunch, we would go outside, maybe to museums, whatever they have there. But Jesus wasn't like that. Whatever Jesus was going, he was preaching, he was preaching, Killing blind, he was doing his normal day-to-day -day Messiah activity. And they say, the villagers, to that woman, you know, we're not longer believing because you said us, but because we seen ourselves. It's not written what Jesus taught them, but I know that was something very, very powerful. It was clear for these people. They said, we accept it. Just after a few weeks or months, the same Messiah walking through this village, and they, they 
rejecting him. You know, it's Messiah. It's Messiah. He's going to Jerusalem. This Pharisee in Jerusalem who is not, who is not accepting us. Uh, then we're rejecting you. And then John and Jacob saying, have you seen what they just done? He, they rejected Jesus, Messiah. They rejected Jesus. For a moment, my dear friend, I know it's not so easy. Haven't it happened in your life Then you spoke to ben, about Jesus to a person, he accepted this, and then after a few days, he's rejecting you and rejecting Jesus. What feeling do you have? God, where, where is fire? He just rejected. He, he, he actually accepted everything before and now he rejecting Messiah. Haven't you had this feeling ever? Never? Then someone rejecting you with all Messiah, mercy, love, salvation, weapons of spirit and revelation, someone just say, kind of rejected. Haven't you had this feeling? No. Are you honest? I had a conversation once who said more and more people in my life that I don't like. He rejecting my salvation. I, I, I hate politicians. I hate these musicians. This, 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 I hate them. I started to think, is there a person in Latvia who I like? They rejected my Lord. Dear friend, please understand me correctly. The disciples were brought up in the Old Testament. Please have a look what is written in Exodus 21. I for I, I for I, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. If you take my tooth, okay, I will take your tooth. I will take your teeth. You rejected Messiah. You rejected Messiah. Messiah, Savior. They rejected you, God. Done they something minor? Samaritans done something minor? No, it was something very serious. In other words, see these disciples who are seeing their Lord very seriously. And he got a jack rejected and in accordance with all uh, biblical Old Testament yes, principles, the fire had to come from the heaven. And Jesus told them, please pay attention to what spirit you belong. And he spoke about the other spirit. I would like to remind you one more event, and this is written in John 18, and, uh, and the main person there, uh, Peter, Peter had what? He had a wife. He had a, a wife, maybe children. Other, other important thing, 
he had what? Zobans. Pareiz. Paldies. Sword. Mārtiņš iedos man zobanu. Ja kas Martin, uzmanieties ar Mārtiņu, viņiem arī ir zobanu. Nespējams, tikai zobanu. Sword. Be careful with Mārtiņu. He is hanging Pēter sword. Pēter ir zobans. Viņš uztver Jēzu nopietni. He, Peter, seeing Jesus in serious way, he is walking with sword. And he is walking with Jesus. In his eyes, he has revelation that, Lord, you are Savior, you are God. And Peter walking with his Lord, and now in a... Peter stāv blakus Jēzum. Mēs šo situāciju uztveram kā? Kā mēs ar tevi uztveram? Mēs šo situāciju uztveram, nu tā, tu un drau, draudz mācītājs, atnāk policijas saņemt mācītājs, tu zini, paldies, Dievam, mācītājs, 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 māc
Viņš, kur uh, bija tikai dziedinājis glābs. Viņš, kur bija palīdzēs. Gross. Viņš, kur bija noliecies tik zem. He, Dievs, kur noliecies tik zem. Un šiem nepateicīgie, šie lepnie augstprātīgie tumsoņi uh, bija uh, in, people in darkness Pēdēk killed him. Peter wrote a sermon ja nu viņam gadīsies uzrunāt Before Pentecostal days. Un zinat, ko? Es tai liek pēdējās lūdzu, nosturiet man ļoti nopietni, tas būs tā kā mazliet viņā tāda smaida. And can you imagine how his nation would be spread? Archeologa atrada šo viņu spredīķi. And can you imagine our country? But please, it's kind of a joke. Please don't take it seriously. And you know, archaeologists found this sermon. And today you can read this sermon. You can read this sermon. Lord, I wanted so much someone than it. Could you act as a Peter today? Can you actually act as a Peter who is going through the death of his Lord and who is preaching about this? I will read this. As I want you to understand what Peter could be if he wouldn't receive baptism of Holy Spirit. There were people drunk who, who were laughing at him, saying that he is from sect. Their master is killed. Ha, ha, ha. And there's Peter staying, standing. His blood is burning. He is similar to Martin Lauders. If someone would do this to you, you'd be very, very angry. Peter standing with disciples and starting to speak. Pay attention to my word. This will lead you internally and remember you are sinners. You are thieves of your nations. You are you are foolish your nation. You are killers. Messiah, who we waited, have, have been waiting for thousands of years. You killed him. I would like to remind you verses, tens of verses in scripture that's preaching about him, but nothing will help you. You, all your gains you missed, Game is over. Pēc gada jūs mantīs kožas sēstas, nicinās pat bomzes. Un uzvilks to tikai tad, kad būs pilnīgā izmisumā. Pēc pāris gadu desmitiem visu šo vietu ar jūs iesildītajiem zeltītiem krēsliem, kuru dēļ jūs atrādījāt mēs, iznīcinās, nodedzinās, apgānīs un izdzēsīs no zemes virsus. Jūs visi noslīgti. Un in tens of years, your... Memory of you will be taken away from the earth. Peter, Jesus to be bridnais vins. Jūs visi noslīgsiet savos vēmekļos, kas sajaukt ar jūs piedējumiem. You will um, drown in your Tāvids, vomit and blood. Cilcstēv, šodien no jums David būtu atteicies, un visdrīzāk būtu uzdāvinājis jūs priekšādi savam ienaidniekam Saulam dienā, kā 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 dienā, jo tu, par ko David saņēma apsolījumu, jūs nolādētie, aizliedzā. Jūs gribējāt slepkavu barabu, jūs viņu dabūsiet, un ne tikai jūs vien, bet jūs pēc. You wanted, you wanted uh, Barnaba and you, who is a killer, and you will receive him. You are proud of your theological knowledge. You are using scriptures that were inspired by, by Holy God. I hope the land will open and you will fall to all sinners as you are. 
Tad viņi ir par svētu, lai ciestu ar jums vienā eulē. Un pagaidiet, And ka mēs kļūsim par vairākumu, sagatavojieties tajā atmodēt. Then the, we will become majority. There will be awakening and inquisition. And we will push you, push you to love Jesus and to obey His law. Does it sound as Peter? Thanks God, Peter had never written this letter. And uh, Jesus told him, wait, wait, wait for Pentecostal, for baptizing of Holy Spirit, Spirit of Christ. Ja tu atceries Jēzus ļoti atšķiras no šī Pētera, If you remember Jesus very different from this approach, in Luke 23, we're reading where Jesus is on the cross in his agony on a very uh, finale of uh, his uh, mocking, his suffering. And what he's saying in verse 34, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Dear friend, sometimes we think the word understanding. No, they do not understand what they do. Many years ago, I heard a conversation where the drivers were speaking. You know, this year we will have a, um, sing, a song festival, and there will be many, many uh, bus drivers who will bring singer and they are standing normally together and sharing their stories. So one uh, driver saying every four years then he is going to this celebration. He cannot come to Riga go without alcohol. He always needs to receive some, some shot of alcohol. Then he is driving, driving in peace. Can you imagine Imagine having someone to drive you who is uh, drunk than drying. And you saying to him, you cannot do like that. And he's like, do not teach me. And you will say, you don't know what you do. People don't know what they do. Samaritans who rejected Jesus, they didn't know what they do. The world doesn't understand biblical principles. Principles, world not getting better, it's getting worse. But Jesus' prayer was not to receive fire from heavens and to learn to open and swallow them. But no, his prayer is, Father, forgive them. And then Jesus spoke to his disciples in John 12. As Father sent me, me. As Father sent me, I sent you. In John 20, verse 21, what was motivation? Why Father sent Jesus? Maybe because of sins and we were lost and in darkness and we were slaves. Yes, but it's not why. Jesus came. Bible says, because Father so much loved us <laughs> in Matthew. Uh, all mocking, uh, heat, all these things cannot divide you from the love of God. Christ was sender. Sender of God, and you are the same. Messenger, sorry, not sender, messenger of God, and we are the messengers.
Now listen. With that, I would like to say there is a difference between Old Testament, New Testament messengers. We all know the book of Un jo un mēs atceramies, viņš nosludināja to minimumu, ko Dievs viņam bija teicis, un viņš uzkāp traukšanties, nu kad jau nāks, kad jau sāksies, kad jau kad tu viņu sodīsi. Viņš iemīdz šo naidīgo, tā ir Izraela tautai naidīga bāka. Tie bija super, super spēks tā laika pasaulē. Izraela tika visu laiku apdraudēt no šīs asīrijas varas. Un jo un gribēja kaut jau Dievs tiešām iznīcināt to ninību, kas bija galvas pilsēt, kas bija citadēli, tā laika bagāti varas, ietekmes, spozumi, citadēli. Un jau un cerēja, ka Dievs tiešām iznīcināt to ninību, kas bija galvas pilsēt really hoped that God will destroy this uh, city who hated Jews. Hebrews. Today, we are not we are not forced we are not forced to go to people who reject us. Oh God, today God sends us to the people who loves, who loves. Jūs jūdi un viss, kas Jeruzālamē dzīvojat, lai tas jums ir zināms, un iegaujamējiet manas vārdas. Un šie nav piedzēruši, kā jums šķiet, jo ir tikai dienas trešā stunda, bet tie piepildās praviešu Joela vārdu, un tad viņš lasa visus tos pants pēc pants, viņš atgādina, ko Joela ir teicis. Ok, in Acts 2, starting from verse 13 to verse 26, I will not read all this. It is saying, people, your daughters and your grey hats will preach and see dreams. Viņš speaking to those as they would inherit this, if they would have it, not to the ones as rejecting God. Listen, verse 22, man of Israel heard these words. Dieva dotais derības un vārds. Izraels. Viņš saka, jūs esat izraelieši. Jūs esat dieva derības dalībnieki. Man of Israel, you are taking part. Mēs nesak jums nāvis spriedu, mēs sludin dzīvību. Please listen, I'm not speaking about death, but about life. Listen to my words. And we continue reading verse 29. He said, brothers, brothers, same persons who they wanted to kill Jesus, and he's referring referring to them as brothers, something happened to Peter, I believe, it's what happened to Peter during the Pentecostal, when they received Holy Spirit, and then he continues and continues, and he is finishing in verse 37, all words should not ko jūs esat situši krustā. Viņš nepieturās vairs pie tā aizliedzā. In the English, it's verse 36. There are a lot all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made this Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Paulus vajā draudz, jo viņš bija Stefana nogalināšanas viens no organizātoriem. Paul actually was one who uh, was enemy of the church and who killed Nathan. I can see it, Stephans. I can see in Acts 7, those disciples, Stephan, who was killed with stones, and he was actually preaching with such wisdom. And these people around him, these Pharisees, they had so much hate against him. And Stephan fell on his knees and he prayed, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. Are you ready to pray this prayer? 
What about all these uh, promises? Any weapon won't be successful that is raised against you and on and on and on. Don't we need to say um, Stefan ha ha hadn't had to say let fire Stefan fall from heavens. No, Stefan, praise, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. I don't think, I'm not sure if God will listen to such a prayer if someone would ask for land to swallow these enemies. But this is the most powerful love, power of she's, love, she's power of love, love. this care for people dara. who do Tas not know what they are doing. It's so, so, so godly. It's so unnatural. It's so windy. It's a touching heart, maybe, in the last point. Maybe these people couldn't, couldn't. I believe, dear father, dear sorry, dear brothers and sisters, I believe this change happened during the baptizing of Holy Spirit. It's written that we didn't receive a spirit of fear, but of love, discipline, but and power. God hasn't given us spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind. God gave authority to your word. He gave you power to, to uh, make miracles. But apart from that, most important, he gave you power to love people. Stefan, that's why Stefan was able to speak and tell, forgive them. They do not understand what they're doing. That's why we are not afraid of of uh, uh, persecution. We're not afraid of persecution. Because of love God put in you. Hear me. Sometimes we have these emotions. We won't uh, achieve re result uh, simultaneously. We want this fear from heavens. We want this fire from heavens. Sometimes it asks and requires time, this love. Uh, acting, acting so deeply, so deeply that we have not even an idea. I would like to remind you, Roman verse, uh, chapter 5, from first verse to verse 5, I would like to remind you all this part. I'm sure you know this text. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God. We are believing through years and we are in a His mercy and we are happy. And we have this hope to receive His glory. But we are not only proud because of that, but we rejoice. You. What is written? You what is written? We, are, we also Dio could have glory in tribulations because tribulation produces perseverance. Every person who is meeting you, he doesn't need to meet with so uh, great uh, gospel preacher. 
as telling him internal truth and it's very correct statement people don't care what you know how much you understand Viņiem vienalga kāds kristiets tēs un ko Dievs tavā dzīvē ir izdarījis. Kamēr! Until, until. Viņi neuzzin, ka tavā sirdī ir ļoti liela rūpa par viņiem. There is a huge key for them in your heart. Then you love people that you don't need just to complete salvation plans. You have this care for them. They don't understand what they're doing, where they're going, what they're rejecting. But they understand that you love them. It's ten times better. Because, because that's why Jesus said, disciples, don't go, wait, wait on Holy Spirit, His peace, 